All right, in this video, we're going to do volume by uh, disks and washers around a horizontal axis. So the first problem we'll solve is uh, to find the volume on the solid form by rotating the region bounded by y equals radical x, y equals 2, and x equals 0 is rotated around the x-axis. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is create a graph. And you want it to be pretty accurate. Uh, you need to know intersection points, and you need to identify the region. So this is the region that I've shaded here is between y equals radical x, y equals 2, and the uh, y-axis. So that gives us what we need for our region. Um, so what I do now is I show the axis that I'm going to rotate around. I put a little arrow thing, uh, find that point of intersection, because I'm going to need it to establish the bounds. Um, and now I will start at the axis and go out until I hit the outer edge of the region that I'm rotating. So the outer edge is y equals 2. So the big radius that I get is going to be 2 minus 0. 0 is y equals 0 is the x-axis, so 2 minus 0 is 2. Uh, I'm going to repeat this, start at the axis, and go until I hit the inner edge of the region. So that's going to give me my smaller radius is radical x minus 0, which is just radical x. And now I can just set up my volume integral, which is going to be pi, the integral from a is 0 and b is 4 in this case. And uh, then it's the big radius squared minus the little radius squared, and then dx. So from there, we just now we're just doing an integral. So it becomes uh, 4 minus x when we simplify. And then I actually integrate. To get this, the bounds are 0 and 4. Now I'm going to substitute in my bounds. 0 is always a nice bound to have. Um, so I get this. Ultimately, I get 8 pi is my volume. All right, so that's one example where we're going around the x-axis. Uh, let's take a look at basically the exact same problem. So it's going to be the same region, but this time I'm going to go around y equals 3. So again, uh, you want to create a graph. So I'm putting in the axis there, y equals 3. Um, I did not label my x and y axes, which is probably bad, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so I'm going around y equals 3. There's my big radius, so I start at the axis, and I go until I hit the outer edge of the curve. Um, so the big radius is 3 minus radical x. So I always choose that so that it's positive. Uh, you're going to square it, so it doesn't really matter uh, from a calculation standpoint if you do radical x minus 3 or 3 minus radical x, but I prefer to have my radius be positive. Uh, repeat that so you go from the axis to the inner edge of the uh, region. So my smaller radius will be 3 minus 2, which is 1. It's always nice when it's a constant. Um, set up our volume integral. So it's going to be pi, the integral from 0 to 4. Um, the big radius squared minus the smaller radius squared. And now we're just doing uh, some fundamental theorem stuff. A little expanding there. And clean that up. You always want to clean up the integrand before you integrate. Change my radical into a rational exponent because nobody likes integrating a radical. Um, find an antiderivative here. And now I'm going to substitute in the bounds. So again, the zero works out nicely for me. Um, so I get this. And my final answer is 8 pi again. So I actually got the same answer for both of them. Uh, kind of a coincidence. But uh, I hope you found these examples helpful, and good luck.